Richard Corbett, Labour MEP for Yorkshire and the Humber. What happened in this vote today? What could be the implications? Well, some members of the fishing committee seem to want to delay, at the very least, if not unravel, the significant reform of the common fishing policy that was agreed in principle last year. The vote today was on implementing measures for that, to, or rather to avoid contradictions between the reform that was agreed and adopted and pre-existing legislation that conflicts with it. So it's a bit of a tidying up exercise, but they're trying to use that to delay the, the discard ban notably. Some of those amendments, I understand, went through. If those amendments were also supported by the full parliament, because it would have to go to a full parliament vote, is there a risk that, in fact, there will be delays to this discard ban that people have wanted so much in the you know, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall campaign? That's exactly the risk that I'm afraid of, um, at least for some species. And it's important, however, to remember this is the first stage, this is the committee vote. There is the question of the Parliament, and remember the Parliament and the Council jointly have to agree on a common text for it to become law. So there are plenty of stages still to try and uh, reverse the setback that uh, happened with some of the amendments in the committee today. Nonetheless, the fact that some of these amendments went through at this late stage when the common fisheries policy was reformed, you know, it took months ago when it was, was concluded, that is a bit of a setback from your point of view, isn't it? It is, but remember, since that time we've had new elections. Uh, there are some strange parties in some cases that have been elected to this parliament that are not reliable on matters like this. Um, and um, it's allowed a rearguard action by those who were not very happy with the, uh, with the rather good reform that we achieved last year to the common fishing policy. Is this idea of a discards ban in any case um, achievable. There have been a lot of question marks about how you go about um, banning discards when uh, some of the some of the more well-known stocks like cod swim together with other fish like whiting. How you separate those out, for example, is that a, a, you know a problem that still lies ahead? Well, what has been agreed, what will, will come into force in any case, even if we don't tidy up the contradictory rules, which would be a legal problem, is, is the discard ban, which corresponds with the landing obligation. If you can't discard, you have to land the fish. And they ultimately, if not on the boat, at least on land, have to be sorted and dealt with appropriately. So there's no excuse really to say, oh, well, there's mixed stocks in this catch, we're going to dump them. What do you think is going to be the, out, the outcome, given that the discards ban is meant to start to come into force from January next year, we're talking about a number of weeks now, is a delay now looking very likely? Well, after the vote, the committee did give a mandate to open negotiations immediately with the council. As you know, the Parliament and the Council, which is the national ministers from each country, both have to agree for the text to become law. So there, will, there is a bit of haggling. Um, that can be done very quickly. And I'm, I'm hopeful that that will weed out the amendments that were contradictory, frankly, with what has been agreed by, the, by member states and by the Parliament last year and sort this out. And then we'll have a text that we can approve before the end of the year. But an uh, but a unfortunate then development today from your point of view? Yes, I think it's a rearguard action by those who didn't like the common fishing policy, but ultimately they're not going to succeed.